This is gonna be an unboxing and a review of this uh, high free touch control LED lamp. It's just supposed to, you know, light up and warm up your home. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing here. It came in like a plastic wrapping that I already took off. Um, but yeah, first thing I see, this looks like the power cord, or the charging cable or something like that comes in this box. Go ahead and set that aside. And then next is this uh, user's manual, probably how to set it up, how to work it, all the specifications and stuff like that. Uh, taking out this uh, styrofoam, two pieces of styrofoam, will reveal the uh, lamp itself. That's all the stuff in the box, so we're gonna go ahead and put this aside. And it comes in this uh, plastic wrapping, gonna go ahead and take it out here. So yeah, first impressions of it, uh, it's pretty clean. It has like a little like plastic, I guess like clear coat on the outside. But um, this thing should be pretty self-explanatory. I'm assuming it's just kind of like a plug and play type lamp. I'm gonna go ahead and read the instruction manuals and see if there's a way to change the colors or anything like that just by tapping the top. So let's see. So yeah, right away I see on the top here, it says a short touch is on at 10% brightness. Then it goes to 50, then 100% then off. So I guess there's three different lighting modes. And then a long touch will enter the color changing mode and then to stop the color changing. So if you want to stop it on like blue or red or something like that, all you have to do is short touch to pause it. And then if you short touch it again, it'll continue. And then long touch will just, will just turn it completely off. And I'm assuming it's, topping, it's talking about this uh, button on the top. There really isn't any other buttons on here to uh, charge this thing or not really charge it since there isn't a wireless battery, but all you gotta do is really just plug this thing in here and then you connect this to an outlet, which I'm gonna plug in now. So once you have this thing all plugged in here, I'm gonna, you just, so once you have this thing all plugged in here, uh, just attach this to the back here, uh, and then go ahead and tap it once for the 10% brightness of the normal light. That's 10, 50, and 100%. Uh, this thing is definitely a lot brighter than I thought it would be. I thought it would just be like something in the corner that kind of looks cool and lights up. This thing will definitely light up the room in the dark. Um, it's hard to tell how bright it is on the camera, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the color changing feature. So it says just to hold down on this top button here. So once you do that, this is the uh, red color and it's just going to start cycle through all the colors. So this is sort of a yellowish and then it changes to a green. And I'm going to try to get it to stop on blue here which all you gotta do is short touch it and it'll stop on the color that you want it to. So yeah, I touched it on blue and just like that, it's gonna stay on blue. Uh, the color in the camera isn't exactly like it is um, in person. Uh, the cameras have a hard time like focusing on this bright of uh, colors, especially LEDs and stuff like that. But uh, the color is definitely pretty cool and it's a lot brighter than it seems. Um, yeah, I would definitely highly recommend this. Uh, to anybody who's looking to warm up their home and again just to turn it off all you got to do is hold it down and just like that it's off and no colors are coming out of it so and just like that it's on again but yeah i'd highly recommend this to anybody who is looking for one of these you know modern or sleek lights